Evening boys and you Frankie. Just thought I'd read you a couple of pages of a book. Um, gonna start now. Gonna start reading Coraline to you. Chapter one. Coraline discovered the door in a little while after they moved into the house. It was a very old house. It had an attic under the roof and a cellar under the ground and an overgrown garden with a huge old tree in it. Coraline's family didn't own all of the house. It was too big for that. Instead, they owned part of it. There were other people who lived in the old house. Miss Spink and Miss Forcible lived in the flat below Coraline's. On the ground floor, they were both old and round, and they lived in their flat with a number of ageing Highland Terriers who had names like Hamish and Andrew and Jock. Once upon a time, Miss Spink and Miss Forcible had been actresses, as Miss Spink told Caroline the first time she had met her. You see, Caroline, Miss Spink said, getting Coraline's name wrong, both myself and Miss Forcible were famous actresses in our time. We trod the boards. Lovely. Oh, don't let Hamish eat the fruitcake or he'll be up all night with his tummy. It's Coraline, not Caroline. Coraline, said Coraline. In the flat above Coraline's, under the roof, was a crazy old man with a big moustache. He told Coraline that he was training a mouse circus. He wouldn't let anybody see it. One day, little Caroline, when they were all ready, everyone in the whole world would see the wonders of my mouse circus. You ask me why you cannot see it now? Is that what you ask me? No, said Caroline quietly. I ask you not to call me Caroline. It's Coraline. The reason you cannot see the mouse circus, said the man upstairs, is that the mice are not yet ready and rehearsed. Also, they refuse to play the songs I have written for them. All the songs I have written for the mice to play go umpa, umpa, but the white mice will only play to do oodle, like that, that I'm thinking of trying them on a different type of cheese. Good night, boys. Good night, Frankie. Love you loads. Bye.